still out here outside of Moab, Utah, off of uh, Dalton Wells Road. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice spot. Just been doing some mountain biking. Uh, the uh, what have we got? The Klondike Bluff Trailhead is just north of here. And of course, well, there's world famous mountain biking all over this area. And I've been going down to the Colorado River, which is uh, right at there's a, a place down there called Alliance Park Trailhead. And uh, anyways, I'll be posting some drone footage of that. Uh, I originally started out over on uh, Willow Springs, but you know it's kind of a I mean it's it's nice, but it's more of a mini Burning Man experience over there. Whereas over here, you a little bit more solitude. Um, now I'll give you a quick pan of the campsite here. I just got this tremendous mountain behind me. And uh, I've got some photography of that I'll be posting. And yeah, all in all a great area. Um, and if you have the chance to come down here, I highly recommend, highly recommend it. But the uh, temps are going to be dropping uh, into the low 20s. And, well, my, my flying cloud's just not quite built for that. So I'll be heading south. Uh, I believe my first stop will be Kayenta. And then from there I'll be heading down the Craggy Wash. It'll be substantially warmer down there. So um, I'll post some uh, photos of this area around here. And... Uh, yeah, we'll get this going. Okay, we'll check back in soon. We're down here along the Colorado River outside of Moab. And my gosh, what a nice canyon this is. Um, I came down here in the middle of the week thinking that, you know, there might not be as many people, but uh, there was a few. So in accordance with my people no fly drone policy, I had to go up the road quite a bit before I could find an area to get the drone up. But hopefully I got a few shots. But if not, it was worth the drive just to come through here. It's really beautiful. I'll give you a quick pan. And it just goes on like this for miles really great and look at this campsite my gosh makes me want to go buy a tent like right here right here on the water that's awesome so yeah they got some nice spots through here uh, there's a few I could even get my trailer into so I'll definitely put that in the notes for a future adventure but yeah I'm losing all my light so I'm gonna get out of here and uh get back to the trailer and come back down here again tomorrow I'll try to get some more shots talk to you soon well I'm back down here along the Colorado River outside of Moab I um, didn't get much footage yesterday because the Sun was kind of low in the sky and it was quite a, quite a bit of contrast so most of my drone footage didn't come out too good but I did find something pretty incredible. I think I may have located the world's cleanest pit toilet. This is amazing. My hat's off to you, Moab grounds crew. That is the cleanest pit toilet I may have ever seen. Well, I'm gonna to get to work here, get the drone up. Um, got some amazing red cliffs. It's overcast, which may actually help out with the footage. So uh, I'm gonna to get to work here and see if I can get some good shots.
Good morning. Uh, getting ready to hit the road here, leaving Moab, Utah. Gonna head south to, I believe it's Cayenta. And uh, then from there, we'll be heading further south to Lake Havasu. This has been a great spot. I'm gonna miss my mountain back here, but it was uh, 22 last night. And yeah, the, the rig's just not quite up for those uh, colder temps. So uh, I'm gonna get back on the road and uh, check back in shortly. dig the narrow trailer, but if I'm going to have a narrow trailer, I want a narrow wheelbase. There's a rest stop just south of Moab, Utah. It's pretty nice. Utah has beauty to spare, I'll tell you. Okay, let's get back on the road. Well, I found a trail that goes to another overlook. Uh, it's supposed to be closer to the ruins, but I'm running out of daylight. And it's about a mile hike in here, so I might not get any shots, but at least I'll have some recon for the morning. So I know the uh, best spots to go to. It's a beautiful area, and it's definitely worth the drive off the highway to get back in here. I think it's about 10 miles off of Highway 191, I believe. Good morning. Got a early start here at the uh, cliffs. Side of Lake Havasu at Craggy Wash. I'm going to uh, leave Lake Havasu. I'm heading over to Quartzsite and that's going to put me a little closer to my next destination up in the Superstition Mountains. So uh, yeah, I got a little bit of footage of Craggy Wash. Went out for a bike ride yesterday and uh, yeah, it's a nice area. Very popular obviously with the boondocking crowd. Um, but I need to get on the road and get some groceries and uh, Head over to Quartzsite. We'll be back in touch soon. Bye-bye. You're out on the road long enough. Eventually, you're going to come to Quartzsite, Arizona. <laughs> it's just inevitable. And when you're in Quartzsite, you'll probably eventually end up at the pit stop. This is where a lot of people go to uh, dump your tanks and get water. So uh, I just hit town. And yeah, I haven't been here in quite a while, so it brings back some memories. So I'll get the water tank full here, and then we're going to head over to Dome Rock and see if we can find a place to set up. Howdy. We're here on Dome Rock Road, outside of Quartzsite, Arizona, which is the snowbird capital of the world. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a pretty good spot. Um, I park on the ridge up here, 
We got a nice neighborhood. So it's a pleasant stay in here. But I need to head east this morning, head over into the uh, Superstition Mountains. I'm um, gonna go up and explore the Tortilla Flats area. My my footage from the Cayenta it didn't didn't come out the way I had expected. So this video is gonna be kind of a mishmash of all kinds of different stuff. Um, so, anyways, I, I'll do the best with what I've got. I need to wrap this one up and get going on a new one. So, uh, I'll I'll end this one here, and uh, hopefully the next one will be a little more organized. But, uh, yeah, so we started out up in Moab, came down through Utah, was it Craggy Wash, and ended up at Quartzsite. Uh, Nice trip. I really like that eastern Utah. Boy, that's a, that's a beautiful part of the country. So, well, you guys take care, and hope to see you out there on the road.